Hey everybody, hope you guys are alright. So I have, um, you know, I mean, I really have a design this idea that I'm working on with the intent of Yahushua's word in mind. I mean, everything that I'm basing it on is based on how I feel he would see the world and re would react to things based on the information that I have, which is in this book. Um, I say my imagination because, yeah, I take his word and then I look into the world and I, I use my imagination to imagine how I can take his word and change the world in his word to make the world more about his word. So all the information we need, you know, specifically is in here because it will lead you to where you need to go. It's, it's, it's the whatever. It's that, that thing that allows you to get to where you need to go. It's that crossroad. It's that map. It's that compass, that moral compass that helps guide us and keep us going the righteous, good, straight and narrow path, positive path, <clears throat> growth path, not backwards, not evil, not deceitful, not destructive, not these type of things. We want to move into a lot more loving realm. At least that's where I want to move to. And I think some of humanity wants to move there too. Um, so I'm, I'm speaking on these things because, you know, when I look at YouTube, my intuition is telling me is that people really don't know what to do. Um, there seems... It's, there seems to be a pretty good consensus that there's a very, very large problem here on the planet. Um, and a lot of people are speaking about these problems, but there's very, 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 very little talk about actual solutions. And a large part of the problem of this is because is people are have become dependent on politicians to come up with the solutions. Um, but now we are seeing more and more evidence that these politicians have themselves been corrupted and so they are actually not there to, well, they're actually not, their intentions aren't to provide real solutions. Their intentions are to provide um, appearances of solutions. In actuality, they're, they're, they're to rob us and to steal from us and to lie to us and to make us less powerful by extracting our energy, by portraying ideas that sound good and may look good, but actually have no real good merit or remedy involved in them whatsoever. And meanwhile, we buy into these things, literally paying them our taxes and paying them our energy and uh, hoping also that they will actually solve problems while giving them the resources to solve these problems. But meanwhile, not only are they not gonna solve the problems, they're also taking our money. So we're getting screwed multiple ways. Um, and so this is what's continuing to happen all over the world. This is why the world is in such a disarray because people, a lot of people, I'm in a very unique position. This is why, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think, I'm just saying this because it's just, re I, I've realized that my unique position in this world, in this realm right now is rather unique. There are not very many human beings who are 36 years old who've had the life that I've had, gone through the experiences that I've had, know what I know and also have the free time and the varied amount of, I'm a Virgo, so I like variety. So I like to do a number of different things, which is what the world needs because we need a whole new change of everything. And infrastructure isn't just one thing. It's a whole multitude of different organizations working together for the benefit of all, which is why a Virgo would be an ideal astrological sign to help this, you know, and not to mention they have a pure heart. They're the ones with the Virgin, the Virgo. So they like to do things out of purity, which is also what I like. I'm also on the cusp of a Leo, so I'm close to being a leader. So <clears throat> it is what it is. Um, but I'm just telling you guys these things because, again, I, I look to the internet and I see all these problems and all these people speaking about it and all these attention to these problems, but there's really no solution. And then the, the type of solutions that people do try to come up with go to people who aren't even really there or really even care about giving you the solutions. And meanwhile, I've been sitting here speaking about the solutions for who knows how long. And it's like you know, hardly anybody's talking about hemp. Are anybody talking about, you know, like cleaning the water, coming up with water reserves, like fighting back against this capitalism? Like maybe we should stop being so greedy. Maybe we should stop working for money. Like these are basic, simple concepts that are extremely serious and have serious effects on our whole world. And everybody's not even talking about them. It's like they don't want to talk to them because a lot of them are part of the problem and they know they're part of the problem. They feel bad about it and they don't want to identify about it. But in order to really heal from a problem, you first got to admit to having the problem. So first, you guys have to admit you have attachment issues, you have bondage issues, you are still under the money spell. It is what it is. I was a drug addict. I still am addicted to marijuana and caffeine. I still have issues. We all still will always have issues. We're all still always growing. Even Pops, carnated in here in the flesh, is God himself of this realm, is growing, is learning, as we all are. So, you know, it's okay, man. You know, this evilness here, you know, war is hell, but it's here for a reason. 
and there's a different way of fighting it. The, problem, the reason why the veterans are so hurt and sick these days is because they've been fighting a fucked up war. We're doing bad stuff over there with bad intentions, with bad juju. They're told to do bad, bad things against women and children, and it hurts their soul because it's wrong spiritually, and they know it, but they have to follow orders. Otherwise, they get ostracized and alienated from their family and told they're AWOL or thrown to prison. So that's why I'm telling it's not good to join the military. I'm not just going to say it straight up. I've had former military people tell me this to my face. Don't join the military because they're forcing young men and women to do really evil stuff out there and it's affecting them their souls as the soldiers and it's affecting the people that they have to go out there and deal with it's fucked up so that's why we have to develop our own way and do our own thing the right way and stop listening to these other whatever they are okay just take the power back to us stop giving them power give it back to us which is giving it to god because we're here we are made by god in his image the word is here for us to follow if we choose to it's here right here all the answers to our problems right here Okay, I'm just a dude to help you guys see this and put it all together. That's it. So, all right, I love you all. Take care. Bye.